Hello everyone, happy to see you here and in this video we are going to do a very simple math problem and you are going to be surprised that many of you are actually going to get this wrong. And I don't want you to use your calculator right here and of course here is a problem, 100 plus 40 and divided by 2. Very simple problem on the first side, yeah? And of course most of you are there like, yes I can handle this problem, I can handle this, this is basic addition, basic division, I learned this stuff in the third grade, so that's fantastic. And go ahead and write your answer into a comment section and put your answer in com into a comment section, right here we have option A, B and C and what do you think? What is the correct answer? And we will check our answer here in just one minute and it will be really interesting and I hope you'll, our answers will be the same. Okay, so choose one option. What do you think is the correct answer? 70, 5 factorial or 80. Okay, and because obviously whatever order we select is going to create a different answer, right? So we need to understand what is the correct order to do this problem. And before solving this, I want to start with this solution. A lot of students solve it like that. We have 100 plus 40 and divided by 2. A lot of students solve it like that. They say, okay, 100 plus 40 equal to 140, of course, and divided by 2. This is the same like 14 divided by 2, which is the same as like 70, yeah? And they say, okay, option A is the correct answer because they solve it in an obvious way from left to right. They don't know about order of operation. But right now, I don't want to tell that this is correct or incorrect approach. I want to show you this PMDMC order of operation. Let's look at it. Because it looks like in an obvious way, a lot of students, when, when they solve it in an obvious way, they say, okay, option A is a correct answer. But let's look at this PMDMC order of operation. This PMDMC works from the top to the bottom. And we, if we, I rewrite this question right here, so 100 plus 40 and divided by 2. Let's look according to a correct order of operation. Of course, you can use the bot mass, PMDMC, doesn't matter. I prefer PMDMC, of course. Okay, and we have first step, parentheses. Are there any parentheses right here? No, I don't see any of those. Let's go to the next step. Are there any exponents right here? No, I don't see any of those. We don't have any exponent. What about the next step? Multiplication division part. Let's look at it real quick. So are there any division right here? More multiplication. We don't have addition. Yeah, we have division right here. So we need to start from this division right here. So we have like 100 plus 40 divided by 2 equal to 20. So it looks like 120. But then a lot of students uh, tell us, okay, I don't have this option right here. We have 70, we have 80, we have option B5 factorial. We don't have this 120. And then they do um, like a wrong move because they go to the back. They go to this option 70, they go to this option A, and they say, okay, option A is a correct answer to this problem. And they, then I answer them, okay, but option A is absolutely incorrect incorrect solution because we cannot like go with addition at first we need to work according to PMDMC or BODMAS or doesn't matter whatever order operation of uh, whatever order of operation you select you need to work according to this order of operation this is like an obvious solution a lot of students solve it like that in an obvious way from left to right but if you're talking about the correct answer correct answer is this is 120 but let's look at, at this option this is not option A as you can see this is not option C what about option B? A lot of students need to for, need to remember about this option with factorials because we have like five factorial. What what is what tells us this factorial sign? This is a product from left from from one to until this number. So we have one times two times three times four and times five. Let's look at it. We have one times two. We have two. Two times three is six. Six times four twenty four and twenty four times five. Yeah, this is 120, which is absolutely the same answer as our answer. If we're talking about our question as in the beginning, 5 factorial, this is the same 100 and 120. So very tricky moment, don't forget about factorials, because if you forget it, you can easily go to a wrong answer, because you don't think this correct answer, and you go back to the 70, which is absolutely incorrect. And in our case, option, option B is a correct answer, answer, this is a correct answer, option, option B. 5 factorial, or if you're talking about solution, this is 120. Very interesting and tricky question. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, this is like a relaxing algebra problem. I don't like find a hard problem with squares, cubes, like factorial. This is very relaxing problem and I hope you enjoy it. Moreover, if you made this error, I'm happy you made this because you won't make this again. And I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematic adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day. See you in the next video. Take care.